Vehicles are always coming into the Incident Command and Operations Center in Concord. But on Friday, the phones were ringing off the hook. These systems are in place for the emergency notification piece so that we can get the widest distribution of that message to the greatest amount of people that we can throughout the state. That system is for statewide Amber Alerts, and last week it was set off after 34-year-old Justin Duran allegedly killed his partner and took off with their two daughters. You have a, a child, uh, 17 years old uh, or under, um, that has been um, that is in, in immediate danger um, of serious bod bodily injury or death. This is the room where that Amber Alert went out. Crews were taking calls and monitoring these cameras looking for the car. So the system does work. Those two little girls were found safe in Keene, thanks to the quick actions of investigators and the public. But the fact of the matter is that it's there and that it's working is one of the success stories we'd like to say is is, is, is relevant in this particular case. Even though many people were woken up by this notification, Amber Alert. Other people say they got the message hours later or never got it at all. We're trying to figure out right now what it is that happened with those network systems to preclude those individuals who did not get the notification or didn't get it in a timely fashion. Officials are still calling the alert a huge success. The Department of Safety says they're now working with cell phone carriers to iron out any hiccups. So next time, even more people can get notified and be on the lookout. It's when the rubber meets the road and we have to really, you know, maybe flesh out problems with it then. In Concord, Ariel Metropolis, WMUR News 9.